presenting uh, the most recent um, activities of the PSC working group led by Annika Berkwit from the Karolinska that is not able to be here today. So uh, basically, uh, I will give you an update about the uh, PSC registry as last year. So to date, and these are the most recent data, and I want to thank Felix Brown and Christoph for uh, providing this result just uh, the, the most updated yesterday, 450 patients were included at baseline, and 300 they have uh, the one-year follow-up. As you can see, there are more and more patients, more, less patients with longer follow-up, but to date we have nine patients with six-year follow-up. Briefly, 10% of patients had a diagnosis when they, were, they are children, so that's an amount of... Uh, uh, an important information. We had information about the medical therapies, uh, both at baseline and also uh, during the first follow-up, so basically one year after the uh, diagnosis. And we had information for all this. In general, the quality and the completeness of the information is very high in this registry, and this um, account for high quality uh, data. We have information on the uh, presence of colectomy since these patients have uh, often um, IBD as reported and the ind indication also to colectomy are reported. Uh, here we have 50% uh, at baseline had IBD diagnosed and 22% uh, uh, no uh, IBD, but unfortunately we don't have this information in one-fifth of the patient. So these are just brief data on the uh, on the registry. What is an, uh, another important activity that was uh, um, done in the last year and led by um, Norman Junge, a pediatrician from the Hanover Medical School, that should be here somewhere, yeah, <laughs> over there. And uh, he led this project on preparing some uh, leaflets for uh, children and adolescents. What is important here that uh, we have some very good leaflets for, uh, for adult patients that, that are very good, but they lack of uh, uh, aspects of particular interest for children and adolescents, and so they are very difficult to be understood for them. So um, he um, developed a project to prepare some leaflets for differentiated age, so some one for children in small age, uh, so six to ten, nine years, one leaflet for children of 10 to 15 years, and one leaflet for adolescents so from 16 years on. This project uh, was planned and uh, approved also from the, uh, sorry, the uh, Hepatology uh, Committee of the ESPCAN. So this activity will be uh, let, uh, published together. And these are the draft of the uh, lift, uh, leaflet uh, approved, one for the small children, and the one for the children a little bit older, and then for the uh, young people, so the adolescents. Um, I think this is a very nice project, and we will try briefly to translate in all the different language. Thanks to uh, Norma and the uh, ESCAN committee for uh, doing uh, so rapidly and so well this project. Then, uh, just a few words on the recently concluded uh, uh, research workshop that we um, proposed last year. I don't know if anyone of uh, someone of you uh, could remember. This has been uh, on Monday and Tuesday this week in Padova, in Italy, and was a research workshop on primary sclerosing cholangitis associated with inflammatory bowel disease. We defined during the workshop meeting some open question of the disease, and everything started two years ago when Christoph Schaum, uh, in a year-end member meeting, suggested that we should probably study a little bit more what are the predictive factors of dysplasia and cancer in patients with PSC IBD, and we could use also the registry of the year-end network for doing this. But uh, there are many more other questions, so we defined this question before the meeting. We proposed this workshop we applied for a European joint program uh, for rare disease uh, supporting scheme, and we did a very nice and um, multidisciplinary and successful proposal involving also pathologists from uh, um, the uh, ECHO uh, histology group, uh, also gastroenterologists and uh, pediatric and uh, adult specialists, but also surgeon and the patient representative. 
we develop uh, um, the, the subgroup in the workshop by preparing some uh, work subgroup uh, working before the workshop. Then we uh, launch a survey on current practice on PSC IBD among different uh, uh, European uh, centers. Uh, we organize the workshop uh, by um, organizing some clinical case presented by young investigator, lecture, and then plenary discussion during uh, the workshop. And we plan to give us an output uh, of the workshop by uh, acquisition paper and some other results. So these were the participants at uh, the workshop. We have quite a different specialty included. And these were the main themes. So the IBD the treatment specificity, IBD course for endocrine liver transplantation, and some uh, other. But we start uh, from the patient perspective. As mentioned uh, by Ansgar uh, just a few minutes ago, um, we start from uh, what we have to do, what we should do better by starting what is perceived about this condition. So the presence of PSE and IBD is different from having one <laughs> only disease. And I, I would like to thank Martin uh, for, um, for presenting us a very uh, exhaustive I mean, um, presentation on how these two conditions may really affect in their, the quality of life and what are the needs from patient perspective. She clearly underlines that uh, uh, we need to build evidence to refine what are um, the current uh, clinical practice guideline to uh, condition um, that as a physician we should uh, improve uh, the, um, the um, uh, we should improve the information that we give uh, according to the long term treatment plans and uh, uh, she also underlined an important thing about doing joint clinic between gastroenterologist and the pathologist to improve um, the uh, patient perceived quality of care. Um, we start with this and we, we will uh, keep this as a plan for the future uh, years of research. We did uh, um, several different uh, sessions. Uh, the first one was on the um, IBD activity and risk of colorectal cancer. We had a presentation, then a plenary discussion, which was quite uh, active, and then some some uh, subgroup discussion of the proposal. I think that uh, everything was quite uh, funny and um, we had a very nice group. Thank you.